The proposed Charter of Values in Quebec has divided opinion within the Parti Québécois. Former PQ premiers Lucien Bouchard and Jacques Parizeau have both expressed criticism. Joining us now to discuss is Les Perrault in Montreal. So first of all, what does this mean for the viability of the Charter itself? Well, Hannah, the Charter was never likely to pass in its current form anyway because it's a minority government here in Quebec and all the opposition parties have expressed their opposition to the Charter as it stands. One of the working theories is that perhaps the stated opposition of these premiers might sort of provide grounds for some sort of agreement, but it seems more likely that the PQ has dug in here and they've decided they're going to use it as an election issue rather than actually worrying about passing uh, legislation. Can you explain to us uh, why Pauline Marois would be using this as political strategy when it is so divisive? In politics, it's always good to have an issue where you take a certain percentage of the population with you that's committed and and really believes in what you're doing. And so in this case, the population is split, sovereignists are split, feminists are split on whether this charter is a good idea. But if there's 35 or 40 percent of the Quebec population who are really committed to it, then that gives in a democracy like ours, that's often enough to give you enough seats to win government. So what would you say all this infighting among the PQ heavyweights means for the party itself? Well, this is very dangerous ground for the PQ. As it is, uh, the sovereignty movement has been languishing for quite a long time. It rarely ever cracks 40 percent uh, popular support anymore. And uh, a lot of a lot of very committed people in the movement have sort of given up hope that independence is ever going to happen sort of in their lifetime. So when you take sort of the two men who've come closest to bringing the dream alive and have them sort of in open revolt over an issue like this. So it's it's very dangerous ground. It's sort of short term electoral gain for the possibly possibility of doing real harm for the long term. Well, thank you so much for joining us and for your insight, Les. You're welcome.